Hi, I'm Kim at uh, National Electronics Week in Birmingham. I'm joined today by Bob Willis, who we all know from the Smart Group. Bob's great to see you here. Thank um, you very much. Now, you're very involved, as usual, with the Smart Group and uh, National Electronics Week um, with a whole setup here. Can you tell us about that setup and the, the background to it? Yeah, well, I've been invited, as I have before, uh, to organize a special feature area for uh, new. And uh, so I've got involved, Smart Group, MPL as supporters, and then uh, a range for different machine and material manufacturers to, to work on a feature. Uh, last year we were doing conformal coating, this year we're concentrating on automatic optical inspection, either SPI, solder paste inspection, or AOI, solder joint inspection. Mm -hmm. So basically what we're doing is uh, we're taking you know, this sample board and printing it, with solder paste and then doing inspection of the volume deposit. So we're doing three-dimensional inspection. That allows us to look at the performance of a particular material, a stencil, etc. And then what we're doing is taking boards which we've previously assembled and as the other machines we have for AOI, automatic optical inspection, uh, are looking first of all at the CAD data to define what's good and bad. Um, and also reference board, but we're then using boards that I've created with known defects in. So then we can see the repeatability of the machines with a series of boards which have the, the known defects in. Mm -hmm. um, so that's basically what we're doing, as well as a little mini seminars and other stuff. Um, we're also doing this feature uh, at uh, SMTA International, that's in Chicago, and we hope to also be doing a very similar feature at Productronica in Germany, um, which uh, we did a, a feature together with uh, Rob and Claire uh, two years ago, effectively. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it worked out quite well. And I like these types of features because it allows me to interact with people, it allows me to play with new equipment sometimes, it allows me to uh, learn from suppliers because, you know, Today, um, if you don't know the software on a machine, it's a box. You yeah. can't do anything with it. Yeah. So really, it's a good opportunity for me to spend time um, and you know, obviously be paid to do so. Um, to <laughs> Which learn. is always a nice bonus well, yeah. as well yeah. along the yeah. way. Yeah. Um, and the logistics behind it must be um, quite challenging just to get all the machine suppliers together and talking together, but it's also a great way of getting the industry to, to come together and, and find solutions or explore solutions. Yeah, I would, I would totally agree with you. I think that uh, this is slightly easier than previous events because when you're looking at this type of equipment, you're using um, just basically a 13 amp socket. Uh, you've got air to complicate it, but we haven't got you know three phase large uh, amperage requirements for soldering and stuff like that. So that's one of the reasons that perhaps I I've, I've dreamed up this idea um, as being slightly a compromise because you can go to a very big show and you probably have a bigger budget. Uh, perhaps a smaller show has less budget and you've got to consider that you know, the suppliers perhaps don't want to get involved with big equipment. So these, this is fairly big equipment if we look at um, this type of uh, uh, equipment, but it's not the sort of take up a lot of room on a shop floor type of equipment, which sure. takes a yeah. lot of consumption. Yeah. And then um, you mentioned the, the sort of seminar conference program that goes on around it. What, what sort of um, angles are you looking at uh, with those? Sup supportive to the, the feature area. So um, the first one we did was on solder paste. The uh, second one I just did was on stencil technology. You know, the third one will be looking at design of stencils, the way we get the solder paste. And then we'll look at um, the automatic optical inspection. You know, what are the demands for the future um, for looking at solder joints? Um, and we're also giving away some standards uh, which for best questions and that's uh, provided to us by IPC. I work very closely with IPC on these feature areas. Um, so, you know, that's going on. Um, and, you know, if anybody wants to come and talk about, you know, process defects, mm. for years, well, for like five years now, I've run the uh, NPL defect database, which is basically an online source. Mm. People can add pictures and ask questions about it and then it becomes a historical reference source for people trying to solve problems. Mm. Um, so, you know, that works quite nicely. I'd mm. like to see more on it. There's about a couple of hundred different types of defects, I'd like to see more. But there are occasions when engineers perhaps haven't got good photographs. Um, there's certainly a lot I do see that haven't got good examples of the problems. Um, but also what tends to happen sometimes, they don't want to suggest they've actually got a problem. Um, and I think that, you know, you can still 
highlight something you've got an issue with and you'd like some advice and you're not given anything and why it's not really yeah. commercially sensitive yeah. unless you've got 26 motor cars or yeah. you know a failure on them but if yeah. it's just a process issue everybody has process issues and everybody generally has very similar process yeah. issues. I was going to say everybody does um, so it's not uh, unique to the UK but we are in Birmingham at, at National Electronics Week, which is pretty much a, a UK-based um, show. Um, just to, to um, sort of finalise the interview, what, what are your thoughts on the UK market? Um, where is it going? Well, I, I'd, I'd like to think it's uh, starting to get uh, a little busier. Um, I think that I, I tend to see things um, um, slightly early. So when people are sort of starting to get uh, more volume, I want to get more volume. They want people trained. It's sort of 60% 60 60 of my business is training. Mm -hmm. More of that has been done online. It's more cost effective mm -hmm. these days. Um, but I still get a lot of failure analysis. Uh, so solving problems for people, both online and uh, visiting the companies. So. Both of those sort of indicate an increase uh, in volume and production, which is great. Uh, and you know, everybody wants to see our industry succeed, but then again, I'm I suppose getting a bit long in the tooth. I'm, I'm you know, perhaps I'll retire someday, but I'm still I still get a kick out of doing these sort of things. Yeah, and uh, like you mentioned, we'll see you at um, SMTAI in um, Rosemont, Illinois, just outside of. Chicago, we'll see you definitely at Productronica. Hopefully. There's a smart group conference going on, so a whole program of, of activities going on um, where we'll always bump into you. Well, hopefully, uh, I, I should actually mention the smart group. Uh, <laughs> smart group's got a, a conference coming up in September, and that's going to be at uh, MPL, and I've actually got the job of organizing it, uh, uh, so I probably when people said put your hand up I didn't step back fast enough um, so I'm organizing it on behalf of Chris Hunt so MPL sort of uh, the sort of the organizer um, so we hope that's going to be nice we've got tabletops so we've already got two or three people signed up for that um, and we're just trying to get a nice cross-section of good technical topics uh, to cover so hopefully that'll be successful excellent well Great talking to you today. Um, I think your stage beckons again for your next uh, seminar. Um, great seeing you and good luck with the two days here at the show. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.